Hello guys, what's up? It's Zing Mike Colum here in 1987 here to give you guys my opinion and what I saw and what I learned and what I listened about of Nintendo. I'm just showing you now, out of all the events, Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo, they so Look at this. Look at this. I gotta say, this is the most funniest E3 yet in Nintendo ever. So, let's go to the next one right now. Okay, let's so let's go into what did they show us? What did they show us? First off, the presentation of E3 Nintendo is hilarious. Look at this. This is like Robot Chicken Nintendo style. It's hilarious. It's like the best way of doing Robot Chicken. If they kept on doing this for all their like, ET videos and all their trailers and all that stuff, it would be hilarious to me. So what did they first show? Um, take a guess. They showed Smash Brothers. Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. Um, so, what did they show us on Wii U? That was interesting. That me characters can now fight. And so, I can take my me character and I can, I can fight against my brother as a me character. Or he means his own character. And then you can make other characters. So you can make, like, Abraham Lincoln. You can make Elijah Wood. You can make other characters. You can make trailer, like, footage of that. That's cool. Now, there's three ways a me fighter can fight. There is a me brawler, a me swordsman, and a me gunner. These all have different abilities. And each of them had different uh, powers and all this stuff. So it's a really complex system. Um, so it's really cool how they really did it. But this trailer is as funny as hell in my opinion. Look at this. Look at this. Reggie and Mr. Iwata are fighting. Super Smash Brothers style right now, basically. And then they pull out their Wii U tab, game pads, and Wii U Pro controllers, and they do a brawl. Watch this. It's just hilarious. And he said still they didn't announce the release date. And that's Reggie, and that's Mr. Iwata. So imagine you're taking your Mii character, if you have a Wii U, which I reckon you should get, because they're really throwing a ton of stuff at us, and really just taking it to the next level. You can basically make your Mii fighters fight for like a long time. It looks really cool what they did. And the, the director, I think, or our developer of Smash Bros. said that this is not just the in-game animation that he made just to show off. This is really going to be in the game. So that's kind of cool with this one. Um, the only thing that pissed me off about this entire Smash Brothers Wii U uh, trailer is that they're still not telling us the release date. I want a release date, damn it. Come on. You can't give us a November 28th type of thing like Mario 3D World did. Or you can't even give us like a December early so like, it can be my birthday type of thing. Come on. But um, I already pre ordered the 3DS version. And the 3DS version has been delayed from August to October the thir uh, 3rd, I believe. October 3rd. So it's going to be, 3DS version will come out October 3rd. We still don't know when Wii U version is going to come out though. And they also talk about the Amiibo system. What this Amiibo system is, if you saw Iwata earlier using a toy on the gamepad, it's basically a fight, it's a system that you can transfer content to the toy into the gamepad. It'll transfer, it'll make, it'll evolve your fighters. Then make which toy you have. I mean, the director talks about it right here. Um, this Smash, the system will not just work for Smash Brothers, it will also work on Mario Kart 8, Mario Party 10, which has been announced, and a Yoshi game, which I'll talk about in a few minutes. Um, actually I'm going to talk about it right now. Yoshi is getting his own console game, yes! And, but it's not coming out next year, it's going to come out next year though, so boohoo. Um, so what is it called? It's called Yoshi's Woolly World. So, what is Yoshi's Woolly World? It's basically the developers of Yoshi's Epic, um, Kirby's Epic Yarn, a game that I enjoyed on, on Wii, and it's really been, uh, it's really cool now, it's Yoshi. And what tri and footage that they showed us was really well done here. Um, they showed Yoshi running around, he's eating, like, yarn enemies, and he makes, like, yarn eggs, and he throws yarn eggs. Um, I heard it's a lot, in my opinion, based on what I've seen between this and Yoshi's New Island, that 3DS that came out a few months ago, it looks a lot like it, and it kind of has the same identity. It doesn't like change something else. So, I wish, uh, I can't wait to get that game. I love Yoshi. 
Yoshi's like one of those characters that's like always been lovable in my opinion. Uh, and there's also the two player co op who plays a red Yoshi, there's a green Yoshi, and a red Yoshi. It's coming in next year though, so I feel sad about that. But I know we have to wait and we'll be waiting for this one for Smash Brothers and Bayonetta. Where the hell are they? Where are coming soon? Um, then um, they also talked about Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. <coughs> it's coming out the end holiday 2014, which is supposed to be rumored at the same time as Smash Brothers for Wii U. Um, uh, based on what I seen in the trailer of Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker, um, it doesn't look like anything bad by any means. It looks in interesting as a game title, and um, it looks it reminds me of, like Fez. If you actually guys have played Fez yet, or well, not like a like the copy Fez, but it's also like that mini game from Mario 3D World. If you played it, when Toad has to like move the camera around and it's like figure out these puzzles and all that stuff, so that's kind of cool. I like that idea. So it's kind of cool to actually do that. So that's coming out the end of the year. Um, I don't know if there's going to be an on disc title or DLC thing or like a downloadable content game. Who knows? Um, I will check it out. I'll see what it plays. I want to see how it plays like. It might be interesting. So who knows? Um, so uh, next that they showed was Mr. I think it was Mr. Miyamoto. I believe his name is. Um, and he basically showed a little example of what the next Legend of Zelda on Wii U is going to be like. And holy crap, it looked amazing. They showed a little like trailer of the grass and the fire effects and the water effects and the animations and the destruction. It looks a lot different. And like Link, actually, look, and I don't know if it's Link, or what you were saying, it's not Link. But whoever that character is, it's beautifully animated. It looks visually outstanding. <laughs> She's in Burton. And then after they showed Zelda, who we you, they also showed Pokemon Omega Ruby and Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, which is coming on November 21st. And it's going to be using the Pokemon X and Y engine. So, in other words, the visual 3D animation uh, game. So that's what it's going to be using. And you can use Mega Evolution Stones once again for the new Pokemon that you start off with. And the Mega Legendary Pokemon that you find later on. Holy crap, it's going to be interesting. Um... So that's gonna be interesting. November twenty first is when it comes out. I came up for that. It's gonna be amazing. So that's gonna be good. But one thing I really oh hang on. Let me see if I can find it. No, 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 no. There it is. Um, they also showed Bayonetta two. This finally Bayonetta two is coming this year October. I don't know what day, but it's October. I hope it's coming out like early October or something like that, maybe around Halloween time, so it'll be like that week uni idea. And guess what? This is the best part of this news. Bayonetta 1 and 2 are going to be bundled on one disc with, with cool costumes for Bayonetta in the first game. So that means that put two games on one disc for the price of one. So that is a great deal. Nintendo is doing a great job with that little deal. Having uh, uh, Platinum Studios on their side for once. Third party support, but we, they need more games like this or for the Wii to survive. Look, I'm gonna show you right now. Bayonetta 2 for Wii U. Guess what they show next? After this scene right here. Hang on, hang on. You get the Peach costume, and then you get the Link costume, and then you get. Wait for it. Metroid. Awesome. That's awesome how they show that. And guess what? It's going to be on one disc this October. Entire day in the universe in one package. So that's awesome. That's amazing right there. What did they show next? They also showed Hyrule Warriors. Um, now, I had a little thing about this. This is developed by a Tech McCoy guy, game. These are the guys who did the Gaiden and Dynasty Warriors, which got a lot of like one of the most repetitive franchises out there. But you're always doing this hack of the guy that's exactly the same. Big deal. So, um, this is an interesting video because they really did talk about how they really wanted to respect the series and respect Link because, and Legend of Zelda because it's a really big franchise and a lot of people love Legend of Zelda. A lot of people out there love it. So, Hyrule Warriors is going to be like hack and slash, awesome, badass, like cool animations, and look like that. And you're not going to be playing as Link, you're going to be playing as Zelda, you're going to be playing as another character named Impa, you're going to be playing a character from the Twilight game, Twilight Princess. Um, which is girl, and she has a doll creature, and she has like this long hand like that. 
you're playing as that character as well. So you get to play as four characters. And I think each one have a diverse system. So that's kind of cool. And guess what? It's coming out in September. September 26th. This is going to be amazing. Because that means I got a Wii U game coming back. I got a Wii U game I'm going to buy in September. That's going to be amazing. I can't wait for that. Sorry for the loud noise in the background. If, other than the computer. So sorry for that loud noise. Um, so... I can't wait for that. It's going to be a two-player co-op. Which means you can play on this big ass controller, the gamepad, and then one player plays on this screen and the other player plays on the TV. So me me and my brother can be playing even have a movie together and it'll be so much fun. Who knows how fun that will be? And then after that, look at that. the visual beauty that they did with this game. Look how stunning it is. So I guess so and then after Hyper Warrior, which is like one of those games I really did enjoy, what did they show next? They showed um, a downloadable title, I think. That's my man. I think it's gonna be downloadable title because of what they showed. So look, let me try. Uh, right here. Um, so that's this is when you see a Hyper Warrior, and then they showed Kirby, and the Rainbow Curse comes out next year, and this is some of the footage that they, the gameplay footage they show, which is all taking place on the gamepad, and. I got you guys. I always loved Kirby because it was always a cool game. I loved Kirby's Epic Ride. I loved Kirby for the 2D, like, for the Game Boy. Kirby for the DS. Kirby for the Wii. And it's kind of like a step back, in my opinion, because it's a different type of Kirby, but I don't know. I mean, hopefully I'll try it out. I'll play Kirby when it comes out for Wii U. Who knows? Something else might be added to it. Um, so, um, that's, uh, that's not all they showed, though. They also showed, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles. X, which is going to be like Xenoblade Chronicles updated for us. So that's the camera, uh, something dropped. Xenoblade Chronicles coming out next year, like everything else. And a lot of people actually love Xenoblade Chronicles. You know, it's a Wii title. Xenoblade Chronicles is that kind of anime type of thing. It's kind of cool what they added and what they show onto it. It's just a lot of cinematics. <coughs> um, and then they also, um, I don't know if this is like a game, but they also showed on um, Microsoft's Project X, I think it's called. They also showed that, which is kind of interesting, and I don't really know that much about it, but it's like this thing, it's a like, robot type of thing, we you know. Microsoft, that's the, I think that's the producer, the developer. And then they were doing like, until they chronicle solving up. I don't really know that much about it, but who knows. So that comes out next year, and then they showed on um, Mario Maker. Which is basically you make your own Mario levels. So right here, for example, Mario levels that you can put in Super Mario Brothers or Super Mario Brothers Wii U edition that came out at launch. So that's the thing. Mario Maker will come out in 2015 and you make your own courses. That's the thing. So you basically use the gamepad to make these levels. I right, get it. Mario's gonna get upset. And then the last game that they showed was Splatoon. For Wii U only. And this is kind of the weirdest project ever, actually, in my opinion. This is like something that's surprising to Nintendo because Nintendo always uses like characters from Nintendo, like characters like Mario shooting or Mario baseball or like, the Ouija baseball or something like that. But this is an entirely different project because there's no Mario characters, there's no Nintendo characters that we know and, and love. It's based on a new like idea. Um, so it's basically squids. Which is um, squid, um, it's basically squid people, like squid people characters, and they basically are fighting on this map. They have basically have to cover like their ink or their color all over the map, and then as much as they can, if whoever has the most paint on the map wins as a team. It's an eight player most of the game, four and four, competitive. That's it, is basically. It's basically a multiplayer kind of game, and this is the footage they show. See? It's based on a percentage system, so that's kind of cool that they added. And that was basically one of the last like, things that they showed. And then, um, this is like type of design of it. Like squids turn into things. And you can also squid through your ink. Keep your inks around, and you can like go up walls, and go around walls, and other stuff. However, Splatoon does not come out next year, though. I mean, no, Splatoon comes out next year, my mistake. It will come out next year. And it's 2015. There's no actual release date though. All I know is it comes out next year. And that's like almost the last thing. Except 
it, Nintendo teases us again. I wonder why? Because at the exactly end, in the last few moments, they showed this. This is what they showed. Mr. Me... Uh, Mr... Mr. Miyamoto. Uh, I, I got the wrong guy back then. For the Zelda creator. But Mr. Miyamoto is working on a game, right? And you can't even see the blurry picture. Because it's blurry. But... I think this is going to be a Star Fox game. I know it. I think it is going to be a Star Fox game because it's already been confirmed. But based on what they show this, like, uh, if you watch the TV real closely, you'll see, like, Star Fox, like, ships going around and all that stuff. He's basically working on a Star Fox game. So that's amazing. It's also, look, you can see by the footage there. So, we know that Star Fox is coming for the Wii U. We just don't know when. So that's the only thing that kind of, kind of is. Like, they pull up, like, they... Basically, pulled the same little lesson and tell you to say no. So well, that's basically it of Nintendo's uh, digital event of Direct. So what? So I really love Nintendo's Direct because they were robot chicken on us for a second there, and it was funny as hell. My opinion, it was super funny. Um. So overall, Nintendo did a really good job with this event. They did a great job because you know what happened. The problem I had at last, like, for the last Nintendo E3 was that they didn't really show the games. They were just like, oh, we're talking about it, we're talking about it, we're not going to release it yet. Yeah. This year, they showed the game. This was important. Mario Kart 8 came out already. It's doing well so far. And now they showed Smash Bros. They showed Yoshi. They showed Captain Toad. They showed Legend of Zelda. They showed Pokemon for 3DS, 3DS title. They showed Bayonetta. They showed Hyrule Warriors. They showed... Kirby, Destroyed, Xenoblades, Mario, Splatoon, and Star Fox. This is what they had to do. The only thing that I kind of wanted was because I was hoping that they would show us a Metroid game of any sort. Any type of Metroid game could have been young to me. 3DS or Wii U versions. But they showed no Metroid. Metroid. No Metroid for us, but maybe next year we might get uh, next E3, we might get a Metroid again. Who knows? But who knows? Um, so that's all I gotta say about Nintendo's E3 event. Digital event was really well done. I really enjoyed it. Um, that's all I gotta say. So I'll be um, uploading these videos one by one. Hopefully you guys can check it out. Now please like the video, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Follow me on Facebook. My name is Michael Martinez. My name on Twitter is the Michael Martinez 97. Michael M 1997. The Michael M 1997. Follow me on Twitter is there as well. You can also like the video, comment, and subscribe. I'll try old videos. I'll try other videos of this. I might be my last part of this tonight maybe. Who knows? Um. Just please back on the video, guys. It really does help me out a lot, and I really hope you guys do. So, bye.